Hey guys, it's Will. It's Hong Kong Cinema Appreciation Society. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the green room. It's not a green screen. It's my wall here. You can hear me knock on it. Uh, if you're new to the channel, welcome. And uh, thanks for finding us. If you want to give us a sub and a thumbs up and a comment and all that fun stuff, that would be much appreciated. Let's jump right into this video. What are we here to talk about today? It's Infernal Affairs. So this announcement is kind of old and it's taken me a while to get this video out. And it's because my tripod broke. I've talked about this in other videos and I apologize for that, that it took me that long to get it out. But my tripod broke and then I had to order another one and it took like a week for the other one to get here. So it's been a while since I've been able to record anything. So I previously did a video in which I hypothesized that Criterion Collection would be putting out Infernal Affairs in 4K. It turns out this is not the case. Um, I would kind of just added some stuff up based on some tweets that I saw. One, one Twitter account announced that there would be a 4K release of Infernal Affairs, and at the same time, Criterion, or Janus Films rather, which is the theatrical wing of the Criterion operation from what I understand, um, Janus Films teased Infernal Affairs. And so I was like, oh, okay, so Criterion is putting out Infernal Affairs in 4K. It turns out the 4K release of Infernal Affairs is actually coming from a French Blu-ray label. But Criterion is, in fact, putting out the Infernal Affairs trilogy, which is hell to the yes, insanely exciting, because Criterion Collection is like the OG, just the best. Like, I love Criterion. I have so many Criterion releases. And um, this is just insanely exciting to me. So um, it's coming out November 15th of 2022, and it will have all three films on there. It does not have the... So here's some, some behind-the-scenes information for you. Criterion Collection apparently worked really, really hard to try to get the... There's a version of this film that's like six hours long or something. I should say of this trilogy, excuse me where they've edited together all of the information chronologically. So if you haven't seen the trilogy, as it goes forward, it also goes backwards. So there's like prequel and sequel stuff in the sequels. And so there's a version of this, this trilogy where they edit it all in chronological order, kind of like they did with The Godfather, where they, they took the flashback stuff from Godfather 2 and put it at the beginning if you've seen that version of The Godfather. Um, and Criterion, I guess, really, really wanted to get that, to include it as a bonus feature on here, but the company who made that version of the film, like who put that edit together, was not was just not willing to play ball with them. Um, and I don't know why, but apparently they just could not get their hands on that. So to talk to you about the bonus features, this is a director-approved three Blu-ray special edition and it is going to have new 4k restorations with 5.1 surround dts hd master audio soundtracks so again i don't know why criterion is not doing this in 4k because there is a 4k remaster of it maybe they just don't know if it'll sell well in 4k so they're going to test the waters with just a standard dvd edition then if it does well maybe they'll try to get the 4k out. i don't really know audio commentaries for infernal affairs and infernal affairs 2 featuring co-directors andrew lao Wai kung and alan mock and screenwriter felix chong man kung alternate ending for infernal affairs new interviews with lao and mock archival interviews with lao mock chong and actors andy lao tony lung anthony wong kelly chen edison chen eric sang and chat manto that's insane that is insane i haven't looked at this yet so this is my honest reaction like those interviews with those people on this release from criterion fuck yes i'm gonna buy the shit out of this the next time criterion has a half off sale lock your kids up <laughs> i don't know why you would need to do that just because i'm gonna buy shit out of this but i am and it's gonna happen <laughs> This is really going off the rails. I don't even know what's going on right now. Uh, making of. Uh, it says making of programs. So maybe for each of the films. I'm not really sure. Behind the scenes footage, deleted scenes and outtakes, trailers, new English subtitle translation, plus an essay by film critic Justin Chang. So Justin Chang is a film critic for, uh, it's, the Hollywood, it's either The Hollywood Reporter or Variety. I don't remember. I think it's Variety, actually. Um, and I really like his reviews. A lot of movie reviews I don't really like. I just kind of find them irritating and like they're, they don't really offer any insight. They just describe the movie. You know, like you read it and you're like, did you like the fucking movie? Like, what do you do? You're just like, <laughs> just like describing it. Um, but I really like his movie reviews actually. So I, I, I liked his, I think he wrote an essay for Boat People too, the Criterion Collection release of, of the Anne Hui film. Um, so I'm excited about that. So this is the Infernal Affairs Criterion Collection three Blu-ray trilogy release. I'm hella excited about this. I hope you are too. Let me know in the comments what you think about this release, whether you're gonna hold out for the hopes of a 4K, whether you're gonna pick up the Blu-ray, what you would like to see on it, what you wouldn't like to see on it. 
who your favorite Ninja Turtle is and all that fun shit. My name is Will. This is Hong Kong Cinema Appreciation Society. I thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.